Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 21 and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about classes in HTML and CSS obviously and uh, what a class is um, is basically just like a styling selector so you are able to add a class to one of your elements and you can style your element according to the class rather than the actual element name and I'm gonna show you just where that comes in handy now because let's say I had three paragraphs in my body so let's go ahead and make one paragraph and uh, this paragraph can say I am blue and then we'll make another paragraph and this one can be a different color so let's say that this paragraph must say uh, I wish I were red and one last one just for I don't know, good measure and uh, we'll say I'm feeling bright and yellow bright and yellow okay cool so uh, we'll try and make this one blue we'll try and make this paragraph red and we'll try and make this paragraph yellow. Now you know uh, from previous uh, tutorials that I can go ahead and select a paragraph tag by its actual element name so I could go ahead and just type in P over here and then style my paragraph like this but the problem with this is that it's going to style all paragraphs the same color as whatever I put in here. So if I go ahead and I maybe change this color to blue, then it's going to change all of my paragraphs to blue. So if I go ahead and run this in Firefox, now I have all blue paragraphs. So how do I tell Firefox or how do I tell the browser that I only want this paragraph to be blue, this one I want to be red, and this one I want to be yellow? And the answer to that is to pretty much use a class. Okay, so let's go back to HTML over here and I'm going to go ahead and say class is equal to something. So we'll set this class equal to blue and basically now we'll be able to select anything with a class of blue and turn that blue. And then we'll go ahead and give this one a class as well and we'll set that equal to a class of red and the next one we can set class equal to yellow and my phone just went off like five times during this tutorial so I have no idea what they're on about let's take a look oh it's a guy from another YouTube channel just messaging me okay that's cool uh, I'll reply to him later because you guys are more important to me than he is you know I love you guys anyways so uh, we've got the first paragraph with a class of blue the second with a class of red and the third with a class of yellow so let's go over to CSS and instead of styling all of our paragraphs by element name uh, we're going to use the class and to style an element or to style something using a class you're going to go ahead and first put in a period or a full stop uh, whatever you want to call it and that basically means okay HTML or CSS listen up I'm going to use a class then you're gonna put in your class name uh, so for our first paragraph we named our class blue so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that and paste that in here and uh, whenever you style something as a class in uh, CSS using notepad plus plus uh, Notepad++ always changes the class uh, red by default. So we can go ahead and, um, or it turns the actual text of the class red, not the class red, but yeah. Okay, so uh, now we can go ahead and style our blue class to have a color of blue. And uh, I'm going to save this now. And when I go back to Firefox and click refresh, you can see that only the blue class is blue and the other two haven't changed yet because we haven't styled them yet okay 
but that's how you would use a class to style only one element or you could actually uh, style many elements using the same class but yeah uh, let's go ahead now and add in our red class so remember uh, period symbol or full stop and then we'll go ahead and say red and we'll set this color to red and we'll make another class over here called yellow was it actually yellow did I call it yellow I did okay yellow and I'll set this equal to color of yellow yellow you there <laughs> just kidding uh, okay we'll click refresh and uh, I guess the yellow was maybe a bad choice because you can't really see it on the white background but hey okay so we've got one blue paragraph one red paragraph and one yellow paragraph okay so that's how you would use a class to style one element at a time but like I said classes can actually be used to style more than one element uh, so let's say I wanted to add in another paragraph over here and I wanted this one to be blue as well uh, then I could go ahead and actually just add that class to this element so class equals blue and then I'll say this is another blue para and when I save this now and click refresh this paragraph is blue as well okay so basically just add whichever class you create to whatever paragraph you want uh, to apply the styling to and it doesn't have to be colors obviously it can be anything you can be working with borders or background colors or background images or anything that I've shown you guys in the past few tutorials uh, so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.